What is up YouTube? This is Theo here coming to you live with another JavaScript coding tutorial. Today the topic of the video is how to write your own custom JavaScript unit test. Very simple, we're not going to be using a library. This is just very bare bones to add on an extra layer of testing for fun. So we're going to build some methods and we're going to build an object that holds our unit tests and we're going to run those unit tests on our methods and see indeed if the tests we're mocking out are in unison with the methods we build and if, you know, to a certain degree of confidence, the methods are doing what we expect them to do. So um, I just thought of this for fun, but let's get to it, guys. So let's, uh, let's take out this auto run. We're going to build, uh, we're going to build four methods. First method we build is going to be a uh, function at, it's going to take in A and B, so two numbers. It's going to return A plus B. Very simple. Next function we have, we're just going to do, um, it's just going to be uh, a function. This is just going to be function uh, capitalize. It's just going to take in a name and then return. Um, return name name dot two or two upper case false and then we'll have one more function we'll have a function remove which takes an index and a loop through It'll take in, let's see what we'll take in. It'll take in, um, let me just write this on function. Let me write it on the array prototype. Array prototype dot move is a function, and this will take in an index, and we will loop through. If this, uh, I guess we'll just loop through for our i equals zero, i is less than the list of length, i plus plus. If this of i is, well, let me change this to target. In this case, it'll be a number is equal to the target. Um, then we want to dot splice, this dot splice, the target, um, or this, this of i, or this, this dot splice, target, and one. That's good. And then we'll, we'll just return this. Okay, that's the remove. And finally, guys, we will have one more method. I suppose, and this will just be, so we use a string array. Um, let's just do a clone method. So they, they'll pass in an object to us. And uh, mm, no, nah, I don't want to do that. We'll just work with, we'll build one more, I did one more subtraction, subtract, which will take in A and B. And this will just return uh, a minus B. It's very simple in this case. So let's write out our unit test. It's going to be stored in an object. So initialize that. Good. And our first unit test dot uh, test addition is going to be a function. And this is going to take in a method. And basically we're going to say var num1 equals 5, var num2 equals 5. And basically, all we want to know is if method num1 num2 is equal to this result, return true, else return 
else I want to return false. So first we're gonna print this result variable equals num one plus num two. So let's see this in action. Let's do um, let's run this function log add which should be five and ten. So we should get back fifteen. Okay, we get back fifteen. That's good. Now let's run uh, console.log unit test dot test edition and we want to pass into it this add method and we can see our add method does indeed return true so it's working all right that's good now let's create another unit test I'm just gonna clear this out and we're gonna call this one dot capitalize. It's gonna be a function. It's gonna take in a method. And um, we're just gonna say var string var str is is Theo and var result equals str dot uh, to upper case. So this should give me Theo all caps locks. This is semicolon. Okay. So now we just want to say if method str is equal to result return true else return else return false so now let's test out our methods okay so we have console dot log capitalize we'll just give this my name of theo so it is, it is indeed working. Let's just change this real quick to John. John, okay. So our method is working. Now let's try running our unit test. Unit test dot capitalize. And then we'll put in capitalize. So it is indeed true. So maybe, you know, like if we were to change, um, you know, we could say we swap this out to, to lowercase, we're gonna get false. So we know that it is indeed working. That's good. And finally, guys, our last unit test that we want to test is our remove. So let's write this unit test dot test remove. It's gonna be a function. It's gonna just take in a method, and basically we're gonna have an array. Um, an array and our var numbers is going to be one, two, three, four, and we want to do messed up on this last time when I tried to make this video. So basically, if we were to pop this, we should get four. So just to mock this up, I'm just going to say popped is equal to four. Because if we were to pop, that's what it should return, it should return to us. Because popping just takes one off the last um, index uh, for the array. So basically now, let's run our method first just to make sure it works. So we have var nums equals two, four, six, eight. So let's run console.log nums.remove. Um, Nums.remove6. Let's run this with JavaScript. 2468. Nums.remove. If this is uh, this dot splice target. Um, um, Push. This is odd. Let me just change this real quick. We will just continue and then we'll return changed. And then we do remove six. If this apply is equal to target, the 
If this y is equal to the target, continue. Oh, uh, okay. This y is, let me just write it like this. Change dot push to this is y. Okay, there we go. So now that that works, 248, similarly, if we pass it 8, we should get 246. And similarly, if we pass it, let me take that out, take out these, if we pass it too, we should get 468. All right, good, so now that we know that's working, then, so, so we just have this, right, and we know, actually no, it, we should be able to do it. So now that we have that, right, we should be able to say, ooh, what the heck did I do? Um, all right, so now we have uh, our move method working. And we got our numbers, so we should say if method of numbers dot remove for um, method is equal to uh, what should what should this return? This should return. Um, I guess this should just return, what should this return? It should return uh, one, two, three, return true, else return false. So we can see this in action. Unit tests dot test remove. Take in our remove. Let me see what we're getting. Remove is not defined. Array dot prototype remove. We're getting a false value. Why is that? We're moving four. Numbers not removed for console. Console dot log method. Let's see what we're getting back. Numbers dot remove for. What are we getting back? Why are we getting back an empty array? Hold on. Dot remove for if method of numbers dot remove for. Uh, oh, let's just call it right and method of numbers dot remove for. Now we want to say if if numbers is equal to one two three. Right, I think that's good. Now, if we log out, unit test dot test remove um, remove. I guess gotta put on the array dot prototype array dot prototype false. Huh? If number is equal to. Console dot numbers one two three four console dot numbers oh right console six three four if
All right, I'll have to look into that. I'm not sure about the return type and why that method signature isn't producing the correct values, but it, it clearly works. I just gotta work on that unit test, but uh, I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Um, sorry for getting kind of confused there at the end, but hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you in the next video, and thanks always for watching.